Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today we are going to create historical movements opener, like this. So let's get started. First create a new comp, 1920 by 1080. This is our main comp. Then create one more composition. I call this BG. Here I have some elements. So drag all three dust images into the timeline. Resize around 70%. and change layer mode screen now drag grunge image above the last image and change size 70% select the layer and search curves effect and adjust your curve like this and change layer mode divide here you can see now we need to animate this so select all layer press s for scale go to first frame and add a keyframe then go to 10 frame forward unlink all scale value Select all layer, and change X scale amount minus 70%. Then again go to 10 frame forward, and change both scale amount minus 70%. Then again go to 10 frame forward, and change both scale amount plus 70%. Select all keyframe right click, and select toggle hold keyframe, Now we need to add loop out expression. So hold alt key, click on stopwatch icon, go to expression language menu, then property, and select loop out expression. Now select scale, right click, and copy expression only, then select all three layer, and paste it here. Here you can see, cool. Now go to main comp and drag BG comp into the timeline. Now create a new composition. I call this placeholder 1. Drag your image into the timeline. Now again create a new composition. And I call this BG media 1. Now drag placeholder comp into the timeline. Then drag transition ink footage into the timeline. Select placeholder layer, and change track mat, Lumu inverted mat. Perfect. Now go to main comp and drag BG media 1 comp into the timeline. Now create one more composition. And this is our media 1 comp. Drag placeholder 1 comp into the timeline. Then drag brush transition footage into the timeline. Select placeholder layer and change track mat luma mat. Also enable the time remapping on brush transition layer. And increase the layer. Now go to main comp and drag media 1 comp into the timeline. And convert into 3D layer. And move the layer few frame forward. Now search curves effect. And adjust the curves. 
then search fast blur effect and increase blur radius 16 now duplicate the layer and delete both effects and move the layer few frame forward go to two view horizontal select bottom media one layer and move back side of the comp now create a null layer parent both media layer with null layer and make null layer a 3d layer Select Null Layer press P for position and apply Posterize Wiggle Expression Cool Now go to Project Window and drag Writing PNG Image into the Timeline Select layer and search fill effect. And change fill color white. Also change opacity 20%. And convert layer as a 3D layer. And resize layer around 25%. And move the position little bit front side of the comp. Now duplicate the layer, and adjust left side of the comp. Now we need to animate the opacity, select both layer go to 10 frame forward, and add a keyframe, then go to first frame and change opacity 0%. Now press P for position, and apply Posterize Expression. Copy the expression and apply on the second layer. Perfect. Now drag Micro Dirt footage into the timeline and change layer mode screen then drag paper image into the timeline and change layer mode soft light decrease opacity around 60% now create a camera I am using 50mm preset camera. Then create a null layer. Convert null as a 3D layer. And parent your camera with null layer. Now go to around 1 second forward. And add a keyframe on position. Then go to 4 second forward and change position little bit close to the camera. Perfect. I think we need to change the BG opacity around 30%. Also decrease BG media opacity 60%. Perfect. Now add our text, so create a new composition. I call this text 1. Now select rectangle tool, stroke none. 
and add fill color. And create a shape like this. Move anchor point left side of the comp. Press S for scale. Then go to one second forward, and add a keyframe, then go to first frame unlink scale amount, and change X scale amount 0%. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Now select text tool and type your text. Open text layer. Go to animate and select opacity. Change opacity 0%. Now open range select a 1. Go to first frame, and add a keyframe on start. Then go to 1 second forward, and change start amount 100%. Adjust the keyframe according to you. Now select both keyframe and duplicate them, also move them together. Now select shape layer. Press U to show the keyframes. Go to last keyframe and adjust the shape. Also change your text. Move both layer few frame forward. Now select text tool and type another text. Increase the font size. Now we need to animate this, so press P for position. Go to one and half second forward. And add a keyframe, then go to first frame and move the position little bit bottom side of the comp. Adjust your keyframe, and move the layer few frame forward. Select both keyframe and easy ease them and make your graph like this. Now open opacity, and add a keyframe. Then go to first frame and change opacity 0%. Also move the text layer, below the all layers. Adjust the keyframes. Perfect. Now go to main comp and drag text 1 comp into the timeline. Move the layer few frame forward. Now drag splatter footage into the timeline below the text layer. Resize the layer and adjust around the text. Cool. Select front medium 1 layer, I think we need to resize it, so resize 110%. And decrease the bottom medium 1 layer size around 80%. Make sure enable time remapping for all short layers. And increase the layer.
our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video, so please, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.